Royals, what's going on? It's your girl Cuter Queen here, back with another video. Um, man, listen, 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 listen. Make sure y'all subscribe to the girl. Make sure you subscribe to your girl at 5K. At 5K. I'm gonna say this until I hit 5K. At 5K. <laughs> I'm spitting bars. I'm spitting bars, man. Listen, I'm inching closer, so I gotta, I gotta get prepared. But still, I'm spitting bars. All right. Make sure y'all definitely hit that like button. Uh, that means a whole great deal to your girl. And um, that comment section, that comment section. If you're feeling some type of way, you got some input, you got some thoughts. Me and my royals, we talks about it. You know, I've been asking myself or having this conversation at least of hype sneakers and sleeper sneakers um i think the line these days has become fairly thin um and i just kind of wanted to talk about it and 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 raise the conversation i see a lot of a lot of releases considered sleepers um you know think about it so you got top stars like lebron james his shoes are considered sleepers. A lot of our re-released retro Jordans um, are considered sleepers now. Um, you got a lot of you know, New Balance, Saucony, uh, Adidas selections that are considered sleepers. And the reason they're considered sleepers in this day and age is because we're in a hype era. If somebody considers something sleepers, typically it's something that's either sitting or it does not have resale value. Now that to me raises this question and the reason why this is interesting, okay? So it's not a sleeper because nobody actually likes it. It's a sleeper because not enough people seem to be that excited. That to me is kind of interesting. So let's, let's, let's circle back, okay? So what's considered hype? Something like a, a, a Yeezy, something like a Fear of God, pretty much anything that's a collab. So a lot of the stuff that I mentioned, like a LeBron, let's say just a general release, LeBron colorway comes out, but yet a Nike, the next day, like nobody's nobody's interested in a general release, cool. You know, still sitting in stores, but you also have people buying it because they LeBron fans, they like the colorway, whatever the case. The next day, that same LeBron silhouette drops, but it's a Nike watch. Nike watch being that it's like a Ken Griffey version or it's like a video game theme or just something that makes it unique, special, and considered exclusive. Now it's not a sleeper. Okay, got it. A retro Jordan. You go into a store, release day, for instance, like with the, uh, with the, um, pretty much any, <laughs> any retro Jordan now that comes out is still going to be in stores for a second. Um, but if it gets some sort of collab, you know, like a Travis Scott, like a, what, Dior that everybody's talking about now, I'm, I know that she was going to sell out for sure. What's another Jordan out there that people, Trophy Room, for instance, um, you think about all of these different collabs that are associated with silhouettes that if it were just a retro colorway, it would be considered a sleeper. Like even though people have a lot of nostalgia with Jordan brand, people still get excited for the old colorways because of what it was. A lot of this stuff still, by standards of sleepers, it still sits after the, the release day. So that's what people consider sleepers and then also it not having a large resale value afterwards. So that makes it a sleeper, right? Um, you think about Adidas, like a lot of folks aren't Adidas fans unless Yeezy is associated, unless Kith is associated. So there has to be some sort of allure now for something to not be considered a sleeper. And for me, I mean, if you could, like, just thinking about my own collection, like I consider myself somebody that, that likes what today would be considered sleepers. So I'm gonna grab a couple of shoes from my collection and we'll kind of talk through it a little bit. Like, let's do it that way, that way. Okay, let's talk through a couple pairs so I can get to my point. All right, so for instance, for instance, this guy right here, this guy right here, the black and red uh, 13. 
very very classic coveted shoe when it re-released in uh what was that 2017 yeah when it re-released in 2017 it sat this is a shoe that never would have spent that much time on shelves the second time it released matter of fact it may have been on shelves the le less time when it first released <laughs> this was a shoe you wanted to have and this shoe got this this is maybe one of the most disrespected retro Jordans that exists okay this even though it has a lot of memories to it it has a lot of nostalgia to it by today's standards this is a sleeper and that's my point with with the sleeper okay um now we're talking with collabs all right so we know, and I didn't mention, I mentioned Kit, but I didn't mention Just Don. We know with the twos, Just Don had a hit. Having a Just Don uh, Jordan 2 was like fucking having um, a Gucci shoe, okay? Everybody wanted to have it. It was the thing to have. It was the hype. It was not a sleeper. But when he created a shoe on a sleeper silhouette, like this guy here. This is from that 100 collection, the Air Force One collection that came out, I think this was seven, 2017 too. But yeah, so Just Don did his version of the Air Force One with multiple, uh, with a hybrid of multiple Air Force Ones on there, textures and leather and all of that good stuff. Fire! I've never worn this shoe, I'm still afraid to wear it, but not a lot of people were excited about this. <laughs> this is a sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> like where do you win like and, and you'll notice that I'm probably gonna weigh more on sleepers than I will on hype shoes because I think I like I like sleepers like I really do but in 20 years I'm gonna be the only I'm gonna be the only person with a unique collection <laughs> what the fuck? okay so here we go I got another one let me just throw some some random ones out okay so this is a silhouette that just became popular again. Super old silhouette, super classic. Nobody cared about it until about two years ago. Um, a lot of folks are like really into it now. And, but this particular one was not a sleeper out, out the gate. So this is the Master Air Max 1. Um, this right here, because it is basically a swatch exhibit of um, a lineage of classic Air Max ones. It had a lot of hype built around it. A lot of people wanted it. It resold for a decent price. So this is not what would be considered a sleeper. But this silhouette itself is a sleeper. Hell, the OG Red. Um, by the second time it restocked, it became a sleeper. The first time it restocked, which was what? In 2017? Am I right? 17? No, this is 16. This is 16. The first wave of it, if you was really into the OG Red, you wanted an OG pair, because that was like the first colorway of this silhouette, cool, you got it. It wasn't super hype, but you did want it. It did find it significant enough to have. When it did release though, I think they found that it was it was a hit. By the second and the third restock, that boy became a sleeper because now it was so available. Um, even though a lot of people were still buying it, now it's, it's not worth its weight in gold anymore. So the color didn't change, the silhouette didn't change, perception changed. So really, this is all about perception. It really is all about perception. It's, it's not really psychological at all. So, answered my own question, man. What are sneaker sleepers? Sneaker sleepers are shoes that people can't get a grip off a of resale. It's not a whole lot of excitement built around it. So that's a sleeper. Even though that shoe still might sell out. So, then that's, and that's the thin line for me. So, sometimes a sleeper sells out but it's the resale value that then determines it being a sleeper. So this might need a whole, this might need another part. This might need a part two, <laughs> but, or even just a conversation, some sort of live, somebody go live and talk about this. Yeah, man, I just wanted to come in and just kind of talk that through because it's just kind of interesting to me, kind of interesting to me. 
how one thing can be a sleeper where another one could be similar and it's not and we just go along with it you know what i'm saying like who, who who's who's the ruler of that who says that my just don air force one is not a sleeper god damn it shit powder station box Woo, look at that for shed a tan up in that bar. Mm. Let me get on up out of here. <laughs> Thanks for watching another one from your girl Q the Queen, man. The questions, it's the questions, man. The questions in my mind, in my mind. I got so many of them, so many of them. So let's keep this going. Keep the conversation going. Help me understand. Let's help each other understand how to really determine all of this shit and also determine why would any of it matter too so let's let's discuss let's discuss <laughs> thank you guys for watching another one from q to queen until next time royalty <laughs>